Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. I hope you're doing great. I got a great comment from uh, Nate the Grateful and I want to talk about it because it has to do with real estate and how long it takes for hot markets uh, to uh, take down the entire market, right? For real estate. And so let's let's dive into this comment. It says, thank you for using your time to make these videos. Any thoughts on how long it takes hotter markets to follow the average? All right. Now, guys, a little backstory. So hotter markets, Boise, Idaho, Phoenix, Arizona, um, San Francisco, you know, California. Let me think of some other ones. There's so many hot markets, Austin, Texas. Right. We're seeing all of those now starting to crash, to crumble. Right. And it's the, the, the old adage, the, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Right. And you know, Lake Havasu, Arizona is another example. These hot, hot markets that exploded over the last two years due to people migrating, uh, buying into these markets, you know, a total buying frenzy caused these real estate markets to balloon and now they're coming down. And the question is, how long will it take the average markets, the ones that were just going up so-so, they're going up strong, but not like crazy to catch up with those, okay? Now, let me read the rest of the comment says, I run a roofing company in a small town in Colorado, and we're just now starting to see value engineering and requests, uh, sorry, value engineering requests and cost rise pushback. So value engineering, to give you an example of what that is, is, um, you know, when, when inflation takes off in any industry, what happens is there's always companies that try and solve the inflation problem, right? The higher price problem, right? It's, it is very true. The the uh, the cure for high prices is high prices. And we're seeing that right now in the energy sector where the cost of natural gas is exploding, electricity is exploding. And so what you're seeing is companies scrambling to figure out a way of making cheaper energy, right? So that that's how uh, economies, the free market, deals with itself. It, it, it's self-healing, right? There's short bits of pain and then tons of relief because people walk away. Um, and so value engineering is an example of when construction companies or builders or builders, um, uh, anybody in that industry starts to look for ways of doing something cheaper, right? So in the roofing industry, you start looking at different materials, um, different ways, uh, different spans, all kinds of different stuff, right? To have less materials, less labor involved. So you can get cheaper. And also the cost rise pushback is, you know, when people are like, look, I'm not, I don't have the money to pay for that. So if you want my business, you're going to have to lower your prices. All right. So it's a very good question. Now, there's two things that are, are really prevalent in, in markets, real estate markets that start to crumble. And that is you have your hot markets, your slow markets and the slow markets, obviously the ones that weren't blowing up, they tend to keep their value during the next crash uh, better than the ones that blew up. Right. So like I said, as the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Well, the ones that just grew a little bit, they fall, but not as much. Right. Um, but the amount of time that it takes to catch up to those actually is getting quicker and quicker because of technology. You see, in 2006, when I had sold all my homes, I lived in a small town in California. I was right in between uh, Los Angeles and San Francisco, right? The two big hot markets that were adding fuel to the fire in our market. Well, since we had limited availability of, of building in our area because of our geographical location with uh, hills and rivers and all that stuff, um, you know, and the fact that we have sort of a, a low building sort of background. Our, our county does not want a ton of it, a building, right? So we had low inventory. So we weren't affected as much, but my town where I lived in Paso Robles, California was affected. We got our price from peak to trough went down 40%. Um, it wasn't the most in California. It wasn't the most in the nation, but it was drastically affected, right? Now, back then we didn't have as much of the internet as we do today. And I'll give an example. YouTube wasn't even out when this thing started or it was just coming out. And the information highway has sped up so fast and gotten so much more accurate as far as people can get news so fast. They don't have to wait till the nightly news. And you've seen in the last, you know, four years, five years, if anything's taught you anything, it's that news uh, is very selective, right? So the same way with real estate news, you know, they wouldn't want to just throw out there, hey, real estate's crashing. Why? Because their mortgage companies are going to go out of business. Their insurance companies are going out of business. There's all kinds of issues from it. So they don't want to tell you. But now we have things like YouTube where you can get information really fast. So I can't exactly answer that, except that I'm going to say that it's going to be faster than the last time. The last time, it took about a year and a half 
two years difference for the small areas, the, the, the smaller bubbles to pop. Um, now you're seeing headlines like there are blood, there's blood in the streets. And by the way, guys, if you haven't seen the Real Estate Ninja channel, that's my other channel where uh, I talk primarily about, primarily on real estate, interest rates, mortgage rates, things like that. So please go check that out, the Real Estate Ninja. Hit the subscribe button to that because I'll be covering all kinds of topics as we, we implode. But if you are a contractor right now, I'd be very, very leery, very concerned and making sure that you're getting your payments on time also because payroll can just drain you fast. And this is that time when construction companies are going to go out of business fast because if, if all of a sudden you go a month or two without uh, business and you're keeping your guys on payroll busy like at your house or doing some discount stuff, you can drain your account super fast. I own a construction company. I know what payroll, how payroll can affect you when you're not getting paid right away from your uh, your homeowners. So it is it is a big deal, or your contractors. Um, we're, we have our A and B license though. So, uh, but yeah, it is, it is, it's pretty crazy. All right, guys, I hope you got something out of this. I thank you so much for your comments and I really wanted to answer that. I hope it did answer. The, the hardest thing is right now with the information moving so rapidly, there's so much news out right now. I think that this time we are gonna see all markets get affected because I mean, literally you have the CEOs of Redfin and Zillow coming out saying, all right, we were wrong. We didn't think it would crash this fast. That should tell you something. All right, guys, that being said, the Economic Ninja is out.